The Arizona Department of Health Services released the latest coronavirus numbers today, and a dangerous trend doesn't seem to be slowing down. There are now more than 22,700 cases of COVID-19 in Arizona, and we're just short of 1,000 deaths. For the third day in a row, Arizona hospitals have had more than 1,000 positive or suspected COVID-19 patients. By comparison, 100 COVID patients have been discharged from the hospital over that same period of time. Public health experts tell Team 12's Bram Resnick the state is seeing a big coronavirus rebound. Cases surging after the stay-at-home order was lifted last month. And Bram, you asked the governor today about that trend. Does he see it? Well, the governor said he didn't see a trend even as he sat in front of a coronavirus graphic clearly showing cases climbing. But the governor believes the state is prepared for whatever happens. Governor Doug Ducey likes to say his decisions are data driven, but he appeared to ignore the data on the huge screen right behind him. We don't have a trend established at this time. In fact, Arizona was one of the top three states last week showing the largest case growth. The stay at home order and the behavior that resulted from the stay at home order was working. Now public health experts warn of an ominous trend. Coronavirus cases are surging after the end of the statewide stay at home order on May 15th. Maricopa County public health officials confirming the coronavirus is spreading. The governor's response, he expected this. This is what we expected. The charts that I'm showing you today, when you uh, have seen these, these are the same charts with the same equations uh, to come to the, the numbers that we show you on a weekly basis. And the data the governor showed the public today was also a few days out of date. Bottom line, the governor is focused on the safety net he has created to protect Arizonans from the worst of the coronavirus, not on mitigating the infection. In Phoenix, Bram Resnick, 12 News. Bram, thanks.